welcome back to Just One Question 2.0. And I can hardly believe I'm saying those words sometimes because here we are still in a hybrid life in a semi-pandemic. But if you have to make do during a lockdown or make do during a, a, a pandemic era, then nobody better to spend time with than my next guest, Nancy Duarte, she is a legend in the speaking business. And I know I can say that without any fear of objection or, or argument because um, I'm the one that's talking. And she's written a couple of amazing books that uh, everybody should have in their public speaking library. There's Slideology, there's Resonate, uh, two of my own personal favorites. And she's got a couple of new ones out and her company Duarte has a couple of new ones out. Uh, Data Stories is the latest and presenting virtually, which is something we all need to know how to do better during these times. So welcome, Nancy. So glad to see you again. And first of all, how you're doing? Before I pop you the just one question, just tell me <laughs> quickly how you're doing. We're doing well. Company is well, family is well, we're all healthy. And so that's that's the great news, right? So we're uh, just people are killing it at the firm and we're seeing growth now. Growth is coming back and the employees seem happy and just cooking along. So that's thanks great. for asking. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I'm glad because uh, we all have to figure out a way to to uh, keep yeah. bugging along during this during this strange time. But speaking of strange times and the future, both of us in the business we're in, of course, have uh, wondered about uh, what virtual communications uh, was going to uh, to do to the market and, and to do to our world. Uh, now we seem to be in some sort of hybrid situation. As we were talking before we started recording, uh, you've had a uh, in-person speech recently. Um, I've done a couple recently, so it seems to be slowly coming back. Uh, but what's your best sense of, of the future? Do you think we're going to end up finally when we kill this pandemic re-embracing in-person speaking or are we going to end up with some sort of half and half measure what's the world going to look like and i won't hold you to it in 2025 or sometime 20 yeah in the future what's the world going to look like then well we we have the honor of working with some of the largest and more successful brands in the world that tend to be B2B and they use presenting as like their major marketing vehicle. Mm -hmm. And they're going right now blended for the unforeseeable future. So the cool thing about blended or blended events and the thing that's happened, especially to a couple of our brands who, who traditionally always were in person is they have data. Mm -hmm. And so one in particular realized that they put a lot of energy into some sessions that only all year long, 12 people needed to see or wanted to see. So now, and, the, and yet they had done massively high production value, massively beautiful overlays, you know, in just the nature of the brand. So we're seeing them realize, oh, wait, we can stack rank and tier some of these and they can be like, you know, screencasts versus us having to hire videographers and stuff like that. But we are definitely seeing uh, that, that there's going to be cameras in the future always filming and streaming and i think the brands that do that well in the future are going to win so i think every event in the future if you're a bigger brand where event is a key part of your marketing we're seeing all of them all of our clients right now are going blended uh, and not single just in person and they're weighing the cost of what they lose. So a lot of brands are really about the community that gathers at these big events. It's less about the content, more about the community. Mm -hmm. So you have to wait, you have to put a weight and a measure on each of those and decide what is gonna create the most power and effervescence for the audience. And, and we're seeing them navigate that, we're helping them navigate that wisely. So I don't care for blended environments like, I actually, uh, actually, I started going to a church in New York. I'm in California, which was interesting. And the mm. speakers were all looking dead in the camera. And I was like, oh my God, they see me, right? Because it was staged. It was like, but it was dead in the camera. And then when it went back to an audience, a masked audience, they were, you know, flipping their head, looking at the audience, and never looked at me, which was so interesting. And then I felt like, oh, they don't see me. They don't know me. And so now I just do podcasts because I can't stand for them not to know that I'm in the audience, right? They never pause, 
never looked around and then never really stared at least for a second or two mm-hmm. seconds, pretend like, you know, I'm there. So there's going to be some ways of working and presenting and communicating that are going to be important to an audience that's used to feeling like they see me or they know me or they're looking at me because they're looking at a camera. Mm-hmm. So you got to pull some of the findings forward that we've learned in the season. Yeah, it's so true. This idea of virtual presence is is a loaded is a loaded concept because uh, it can bring things close, and it can bring um, th- things that are as- asynchronous uh, together in, in interesting ways. And you can produce it like a TV show, bring things from all over the world, literally all over the universe, perhaps into a show. And yet, what do you lose when? When you yeah. don't have that community. Something obsolesces. Present. Yeah. I and mean, look at the poor CEO who laid off all those people on Zoom, right? <laughs> like that was a big mistake. So there definitely will be times when things shouldn't be blend or things need to be handled in a really empathetic way. Yeah, even even firing people wearing a, a mask would have been, yeah. seemed more sensitive than than doing that on Zoom, wouldn't it? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got We've got a long way to go and a lot to learn, but uh, nobody better to go on that road with than Nancy Duarte. So thank you so much for answering just one question and probably a couple more I slipped in there, I think. Uh, And great to see you again. Good to see you, Nick. It's always a treat, always a treat to hear from you. So thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. You too.